beautiful people, how are you doing? Happy Sunday evening, how is your Sunday going? Hi Facebook, hi YouTube, how are you doing? Hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful Sunday evening. So my topic that I'm going to discuss this evening, it's about that four letter word, love. What is love? It is so simple when you people say they love. It is so simple when people say they love. They speak it but they don't show the action for it. So this evening guys we're going to talk about what is love, what is true love, what is love. Right? If you are on here, if you're passing by, you can just pop up. We're having a simple discussion it's a Sunday evening. And you're at home relaxing with your family. If you're, if you're a single person, you're, you're at home and you're on social media and you walk up on my Facebook Live or my YouTube, you guys can just pop in, drop your comment, ask whatever question you feel like to ask. It's a good Sunday evening. I'm drinking water. I don't know what you guys, you can grab your red wine, but it's a Sunday evening and normally Sunday evening, you just take it simple and be home and be home and just relax and know that you're having a good evening. If you want to drink a little champagne, whatever drink you want to drink, you throw it in your glass and you throw it in your whatever you have, your cup, and you just have a good reason. So we're reading about what is love. A lot of people say they love and they really don't know the meaning of love and i don't know if this is if, if i don't know if it is because it's a four letter word and it is easy to say one second guys because i have been i don't know why this let me check another phone if it's the, the bluetooth is on so i wanted to use my earpiece It's not allowing me. One second. And it's a great interest 
and pleasure in something or someone.
Love is not a one-sided thing. Love is not when you tell somebody you love them, but at the end of the day, you're not doing anything, you're not showing anything to say that, yes, you really do love the person. It's just a word like any other word that can just say from your mouth, but do you really mean it? What's the truth behind it? What is your what is your reason to say the word love? God is love. God is love. We supposed to all do love God because he has died for us. So when a person tells someone that they love them, what is the true essence of saying it? What really and truly you love about that person? I'm going to get to that as well. question is asked, what, is me, what it means to love someone. A simple glance at the person may cause strong feelings or of, of affection and attachment. You may also feel an overwhelming need to make that person happy because your love is also an action. I just said it, not just a feeling. It is an action, not just a feeling. Truly loving someone means caring for them in the ways that they need to be cared for with no strings attached. With no strings attached. Teacher, but remember, love without trust can't lead to anywhere. <laughs> that you guys feel together so if you started to connect to that person you talk on the phone to, with that person you meet with that person you have dinner you go on dates whatever and the connection is still there and the, the, the feelings the affection is getting deeper and stronger that is about trust the trust issue that drops in there is now when you allow to trust someone because on behalf of what the person tells you, but what the person tells you, and you're about to trust them, but in the sense of trusting them, you're seeing a different side to what they tell you. You have to put a question sign at the word trust. Can I really trust this person? Who really is this person? Because a relationship starts off by telling the truth and nothing but the truth, being truthful. So if you've been truthful from the very first day of a relationship, there should not be no other problem when you come on to trust and loving that person. The need to meet that person, you get to know that person over a period of time. You get in to know me, you know about me, I know about you. I will start having that strong connection. So I am so open to you. I'm just like, we have known each other for years and all of that. But what when the question sign when you start doing things to make that person think that you're not trustworthy. That person is going to question. We have to put the love aside and say, listen, as I tell you, it can be playful love. Somebody can be playing with your mind, playing, playing with your peace of mind, which you really and truly not playing with that person's peace of mind because they're really and truly getting that affection for that person. But at the end of the day, that person is playing with emotion is a very strong word in it. When you play with that person emotions, 
the person started to get him to love you, to trust you, and then that person realized that you're playing with their emotions. Then a question mark is going to be a side that trust. Can I trust that person? Being on what that person been doing, and you start to realize that person is different. Because many a times we all do know that people go into relationship for something. It's either you want good for yourself, for the person, you make that person good, you accept that person, you accept that person for whoever they are and whatever they is. When you accept, uh, when you accept a person, Why you take off that um, comment? Why you take off that comment? What makes love a love? Love is a set of emotion and behavior characterized by intimacy, passion, and commitment. It involves care, closeness, protectiveness, attraction, affection, and trust. Love is most likely influenced by both biology and culture. You did you hear that? You're calling me Tisha. Tisha, my name is Nisha. You don't need to call me Tisha. I don't know if you're having a discussion. My name is Nisha, so you don't have to call me Tisha. You can adjust me by my name. I'm not the teacher. I'm just here. There are a lot of people out there who is going through emotional and mental problem, being in love wanted to love some people are afraid of loving because of what happened from their past relationship and they're afraid to make an attempt to a next one so really and truly people out there really wanted to know things ask questions and no answers so if i can come here and i can put my little one and two and put it out there otherwise and let people know that yes you really can love if you have even been hurt because i have been hurt so many times and if i should tell myself that i'm not going to love again i will do love again but it's just who it just has to be the right person the person who i can put my trust in i can close my eyes and know that i have nothing to think but of that person and listen none of us are perfect we're not perfect no one is perfect we all do make mistakes but listen we learn from them. That's the most thing we can do, is learn from them. You have some people, they will, they will lead you on for years, months, and knowing that they don't really love you. Teacher, let me use myself as an example. I'm in a far different relationship. I really love my woman with all my heart. But she never trusted me for one day. <laughs> this situation keep on hurting me. See someone I love hurting, hurting always. Please, what can I? <laughs> How 
that person know that you really love them? What do you do? What do you sh what what you show in return in that long distance relationship? How do you treat that person in a long distance relationship? What are you doing? Listen, every relationship is either a past or a future. So if you really love that person and you want to build with that person, I'm just going to try and answer you the best way I can. You said you're in a long distance relation. You really love your woman. But trust, she never trusted you for one day. Is that true? Is that true? It is a situation where she was trusting you until you did something wrong for her. Because why would you continue with that person? Because if you said you're in a long distance relationship and that person never, seriously speaking now, you said that person never trusted you for one day. That means the very first moment that you guys meet, she has never trusted you from that very moment. Then why are you still trying her best? You need to let her go and move on. Because if she has never trusted you, why are you still interested in that relationship? Do you think there are going to be changes? Or is it the fact that you meet this person along this same relationship. She was trusting you until something happened. Until you did something wrong. Is it that you're not telling the truth? Is it that you're not telling the truth? Because if I meet somebody and I've never trusted them, them from the very first day, I don't call it a relationship, not a long whatever. That person just be a friend to me, but nothing for personal, emotional reason. Because if I don't trust that person, I will not. Uh, why would I want to go into a relationship that I've never trusted a person one day? So is it that that person trusted you until you did that person wrong? Then she started questioning that trust sign because if you're in a long distance relationship and you're not keeping up with that person. You see, a long distance relationship is very, very unique. You have to know how to deal with a long distance relationship. Remember, and by the way, where's that, per where's that person from? Is that person somebody who is near you? When it's a long distance, what do you mean by it? Is it that it's so far that, that, that you can't take a trip, that person can't take a trip? When it's a long distance relationship, what are you doing? You must be doing something wrong because how long are you in that relationship for? How long are you in that relationship for? Because if that person doesn't trust in you a day, that's not love. No love is not there. So how long are you in that relationship for? She's from Jamaica while you're in Gambia. Okay. So what, what, what process are you making towards she being in Jamaica and you're in Jamba? What, what is for the future for you and her? Is there any future for you and that person? And as I said before, as I said before, you need to answer this question truthfully. If you met that person, how long you are in your relationship and you have met that person, you said in your question that you asked that that person never trusted you from day one. Why are you still around that person? Because if that person never trusted you from day one until now, why are you still there? Why are you wasting your time?
realize that woman, the woman in a relationship with you, in a long distance relationship with you, Chuko, and she has never, never, ever, she still talk to you? That lady still talk to you, Chuko? Because if she doesn't trust you from there, when I don't think she will still talk to you. It must have that she trusted you in a way and you did something wrong for her to start one year and she has never trusted you all throughout just one year that doesn't sound something fishy right there sound like it's a playful love because that person is in a relationship with you for one year and never trusted you why are you still around that person you think she will change to trust you now if it's one year and she has never trusted you or you're not telling me the full the other side because that is what happened with most man, you know. When you heard you guys play the victim, is it that you're playing the victim now? You hurt that person and that person lose trust in you and then you wanted to play the victim or as if it's that person hurting you by not trusting you? Is it that the case? Is that the case? You can never believe what I'm telling you. I keep on believing God that she will change one day. Okay, Chuku. What are signs of true love, Chuku? Do you know any signs of true love? Do you know any sign of true love? Any signs? if a man love me these are some of my feelings that I want to feel this is what I look for to say if a person really do love me another female out there if you can attest to it if you're on my life and you want to pop up and say something please feel free to do so it's a Sunday evening we're relaxing at home tomorrow is another day out at work so come let down this de-stress relax and just let some have some fun on here. How to tell if a man love me? He has to embrace all parts of me. And when I said all parts, I don't mean my eyes, my face, because did you know that you have some person get into relationship because they look at the person, oh that person look good, they have a nice shape. When I said all parts of me, I mean every single part of me. If I come with any flaw, you have to accept that flaw. I don't mean you can take part of me and say you don't want that part. So for you to love me, you have to love every single part of me, everything. How I know that a, a, a man loves me, again, 
he has to talk about a future with me. You can't say you, you're in love with somebody and you're not speaking about what would, what would you like for the next five years we are together because if you really do love that person, you're going to tell the person what you want for the future. You start at the plan the future because that connection gets in and you have this feeling that if you ever met somebody and you're afraid to be around them, when you get connected to a person and you love that person, there's nothing. Sometimes you're talking to, if you remember saying, you're talking to a total stranger that you're trying to meet because the connection is so deep. So you start to tell, you're the person that's at all, like you have known each other for years, over a period of years. So you have to talk about a future with meaning. It's not when you meet somebody you want to go into a relationship, it's not about you anymore. It's not about me. It's about us. When you speak, don't speak about yourself, what you want to do, what you want to achieve. You have to put that person within and speak about us for the future. You have to be a supportive gentleman. Supportive gentleman. Yes, you have to. Whether it's emotional support, mental support, physical support, but you have to show that you're a supportive person to me. You have to make effort for us to grow closer. So as Chucko was saying that he's in a long distance relationship, don't you think that that female is maybe thinking about you planning to get a trip to see her, spend some time with her? If you're not speaking about that, you don't maybe think she just say, hey, maybe I'm just on the phone for just a long distance relationship and she want more than that. Mr. Chuku? That person has to be vulnerable with me. Yes. That man has to prioritize me. And there's a lot of men in long distance relationship. They do not prioritize because they are in their place where they are supposed to be and you are your... I am not going to use the word sacrifice because I don't want to use that word. But you have to make adjustment. Worse when you are in a long distance relationship. You have to make... Be dedicated to certain things. Maybe where you are at, you said that person is in Jamaica and you are in Gambia. So the hours are different. So do you make adjustment to tell yourself that? Listen, if that person is supposed to call me, I am up waiting for that call. Even if I doze off, I alarm that when that person calls me. Does that person make it prioritized for her that when you call, whatever hours you wake up, because I know that Gambia to Jamaica is different time frame. Do you ensure that when that person, um, when you wake up in the morning to go wherever you're going and you call that person, do she ans do the person answer you? Do you get her on the phone at any given time? Is that the fact that when she calls you, she can't get you? Is that the fact that you don't often call her, but it must be something to her? If it, if it, it must be something. When, for me to know that um, somebody loves me, you have to meet me halfway. You have to meet me halfway. It doesn't matter how the halfway you want to be, but you have to show me effort that you are really interested in me. You really want this to work, and you're pushing it forward to work. But if you're not showing me none of those, everything that I just said. If you can't embrace all my parts, if you can't talk about me in your future, if you are not a supportive person to me, if you do not make effort to be closer to me because if you're if you said you love that person you have to want to be 
Get that person. And if you're not vulnerable, it doesn't make no sense. And if you cannot prioritize yourself, for me, it doesn't make no sense. And you have to meet me halfway. And that is when I will know when that, that a person really and truly loves me. When you start doing those things, at least I can say, yes, you're doing something. So is it like a fact that we are going to see if they are by the grace of God and pray how to treat me when I come to there if I'm not seeing any trust in that. So I am saying to you, Chuku, if you are not seeing any trust, why are you going to leave Gambia to come to Jamaica? You don't need to. Because if you said you're in a relationship for a year now, you are talking to that person in a long distance relationship for a year. You have never come to Jamaica to meet that woman to Jamaica. You have never shown any form of interest as if you wanted to come. And you said you're going to come next year to see that person. But she she does not have any trust in you then why are you leaving because if you're in a relationship i'm asking you this question too why are you in a relationship over a year and that person still does not trust you and you're still interested why why are you What are signs of true love? And this is what, when I said what are signs of true love, when you see these things in person, what I'm going to say, you recognize that the person really loves you for true. You feel safe with the person. That person will listen to you when you speak. They will acknowledge your difference instead of trying to change you you supposed to communicate easily with that person you trust each other you make effort for that person and when when I said you feel safe with a person, safety is a cornerstone of loving relationship. A partner who loves you won't physically hurt you or damage your possession. Teacher, I try my best to communicate with her always, but sometimes it's not easy because of the nature of my work. And it doesn't care the nature of your work. You have to make time. You have to make time, and sometimes you don't have to definitely call that person. If it's evil, a text to say, show that person that you remember them. Remember, it's a long distance relationship, and you're not seeing each other eye to eye. It's just over the phone. So if you cannot keep a communication over the phone, that laps, and that, there is where a problem is. If that person call you and cannot get to, get to you, that is a big problem because if you're over the phone and that person can't get it, then what the sense when you meet eye to eye, how, what's the difference in it? You have to start to show dedication to that relationship by learning to communicate. Be dedicated to that relationship because it's a long distance relationship. So you have to spend time it's going to be active because it's a difference, it's have a time difference. But you have to adjust yourself to even 15 minutes. Sometimes it's not what you do, it's how you do it. It's how you do it. And if you are going to, let me tell you the honest truth. Let me tell you the honest truth. As I said just now, it's not what you do. 
is how you do it. And a person who has been doing things all the while and been telling the person that they are sorry, they don't really sorry. That is just an excuse to say that that person accept that you're sorry. So each time you do something, you keep on saying you're sorry, you're sorry. You have to man up, make adjustment, make be dedicated and try and learn to communicate on a level. It doesn't matter how your work be, what type of work it be. That should never, if you once love somebody, it doesn't matter no form of work that you do, that you're not person, lack communication. That work should not be a part of it. And remember, if you really love that person, you're not seeing that person. Every moment that you think of that person, you're going to want to call the person, be on the phone with that person. I am telling you, I am a female, I don't know what man thing, feel about it or what. But there are times when butterflies right in our hey, we can't sleep every second, we're just thinking about that person. Okay, Mr. Um, Chuku. Nice having you here as well. Let us tell you this um, gentleman out there, it's not all the while. You cannot use work to make um worse if you're in a long distance relationship. Don't tell that person because of your work why you can't communicate with them, why you can't get to them. That is so stupid to tell somebody because of work. There is no time within our 12 hours a day. There is no, no time, 24 hours. There is no far more time to say that you cannot spend at least a 15 minutes on the phone with that person. At 10 minutes, if you, if you even cannot talk with the person right through the day, you send that person a text, you let that person know that, yes, hey, I'm at work and I am busy. But at the same time, still thinking about you, the least little moment what you get to try and converse with that person. That is what communication is all about. And that is what keeps a relationship, communication. So when you don't communicate into a relationship, you, it's going to be a problem, you're going to laugh because you're giving up with that if you don't care, you don't find no interest in that person anymore. Or, you understand? So when you say, you put work over the person. So you put, you work over your person. Yes, your job is important because if you don't work, you don't earn. And then you don't have money to take care of that person. But at the same time, if you're going to be in a relationship and you cannot meet no form of time to communicate with that person at any given time, does it make sense? Then you need to not go into a relationship. Focus on your job and where you want to be first. And then after you're ready for a relationship, then you try and enter into a relationship. But if your relationship is going to let you have problem with your work, you have to know how to juggle that. You have to know that you work and you're in a relationship. That person is not near. It's a long distance relationship. You have a different time frame because I think Yes, you have a different time frame. So you 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 set your set your mind and listen. When the clock strikes one, at her time it's gonna be that. So I'm gonna try and call her and say, How are you? Hope you enjoy your day. That's I thought you left already because they said thanks for teaching, I learn a lot. If you're in a long distance relationship Okay, thanks a lot for all your advice. May Almighty God bless you more grace. Okay, Chuko, have a good night. So I am saying to you, gentlemen out here, don't let work, don't say you're in a relationship and say that you're going to let work make you keep away from that person, that you don't communicate with that person. 
that you don't have room for and convert for that person. It doesn't make sense. A relationship is about two people and it doesn't matter where you work, what kind of work. You must get even at least a five minute break out of your work time or whatever to say then. You, I know it's not a work that you work 24 hours non-stop. You, if, you're, if you even go home and you're tired, you be there, you shower, you pick up the food. And you said, um, babes, good night, I am tired, I can't talk tonight like who I usually talk, I am really tired, work will wear me out today. I mean, if that person loves you, should understand and if she know the type of job that you do, so guess what, let us talk tomorrow, love you, wear you, blah, 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 that's going to take even five minutes, but you're on the phone, so you cannot say true to your work. Don't use work as an excuse because once you go into a relationship, you know what what a relationship means. So work cannot not be the f that you cannot focus on a person that you said you love, a person who you want to be with. Work cannot be the order of the day for you not to be with that person, not to converse with that person. It must don't care how tired you be. You can pick up the phone even if I text or a voice note to say, hey babe, I am tired, I just coming in from work, I know the times are different, but Lisa, I will talk to you later, I'm going to get some, try and get some rest to get back up or whatever, it's about what, it's not, as I said before, it's not what you do, it's how you do it, but if you say you love somebody and you're in a far distant relationship, and sometimes that person don't hear you for days, two, three, four days, and then you just pop up up from nowhere, and then you're gonna find all kind of excuses and what have you. That doesn't make no sense. You have to be consistent. Consistency in a relationship means a lot. You have to be consistent. It's not about you alone. It's not about, that person must be somebody who works as well. That person must be somebody who does something. It's not a stay one person that don't, if you, even if it's a stay one person, that if that person can't take the time out to reach to you, you're supposed to make that your part to um, prioritize yourself to take the time out to be, um, to converse with that person. It's not about you alone. It's not about you any, it's not about you alone anymore. It's about us. It's not about you alone. It's about us. So you have to tell yourself that listen i need to prioritize myself for that person for that person always be there it's the situation that when you call a person if it's a person that when you call you do not get that person always busy then you can say then okay she's always busy but if somebody that when you call on her you all she always speak the phone she always answer you regardless of what you have to prioritize yourself for that person. It doesn't matter where you work, what type of work you do. So don't come and say it's because of work. Work should never be a problem. Because when you go in a relationship, you know that you're going into a relationship and it's a serious thing. Relationship is not, it's not a, it's, and it's not everybody who does play for relationship. So you have to go in a relationship and know that it's an enduring and affectionate person you're being with it's not being unless you're just obsessed with that person you really don't love that person but you have obs you have obsession with that person and obsession is bad when somebody's obsessed with you it's bad and as i said before this is my final part that I'm going to do. When I say stuck on love me or love me not, um, look for these signs when you're, when you say you're in love with a person. You feel safe with them. Safety is a cornerstone of loving relationship. A partner who loves you won't physically hurt you or damage your possession. 
they also want to threaten or pressure you into doing things you don't want to do. Make a decision for you or cut you off for your social support. Feeling safe also means feeling free to make your own decision and express yourself without fearing their response. When you share opinions and goals, you receive encouragement, not put down or criticism. 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 You guys, if I ever follow on my tie up, my tongue tie up, if I ever follow on me, I have a tie up to you. Alright, when I mean that the person needs to listen, a partner who loves you will make an active interest in the details of your life. They listen actively by asking questions and waiting their turn to share instead of immediate diverting one conversation towards their own experience. You get the sense they really care instead of feeling brush off with a distracted. Uh-huh. Or uh, wow, that's you know what I mean. While they may not hear or remember every word you say, they generally have a pretty solid awareness of the things that matters most. Your likes and dislikes. Your hopes and your fear. Your friendship and family relationship and so on. In a healthy relationship, partners acknowledge the bad as well as the good. When you bring up concern of relationship problems, they'll consider your feeling instead of ignoring you or trying to minimize your distress. How they acknowledge your differences instead of trying to change you. No matter how much you and your partner share, you're different people. So you won't feel the same way about everything. Someone who loves you will accept your individual ideas and feeling as part of who you are. They might engage in some respectful debate, but they'll show interest in your perspective instead of insisting you take their side. A loving partner may offer guidance and advice when asked, but they won't try to control your choices or behavior. They also won't withhold affection or criticize you until you agree with them. Generally speaking, you'll feel comfortable when you agree to disagree. You can communicate easily. And by saying you can communicate easily. Love requires open, honest communication. This doesn't mean sharing every thought you have. Everyone has some private feelings and they will be to yourself. Your partner will probably do a thing or two that frustrate you over the course of your relationship. Whether that's snoring or getting so caught up in TV shows, they forget to pick you up from work. Sometimes you might find it more productive to vent to a friend about these minor irritations instead of picking at every little annoyance. Still, you probably can't reach each other's mind, so to help your relationship strive, you have to talk through the issues that really matters. A partner who loves you will acknowledge you need to communicate and show up and physically, mentally, when it's time for a conversation. Good communication involves discussing emotions identifying and addressing areas of conflict, connecting to physical or emotional intimacy, checking in about relationship boundaries, and tuning in to signals in body language. Communication doesn't come easily to everyone. Instead of assuming a partner who has a hard time expressing thoughts, an emotion doesn't love you. 
look at their willingness to learn and practice better communication skills. How they encourage you to do your own thing. Certainly, partners should enjoy each other company. A loving partner, however, will also recognize you have a separate identity outside the relationship and support you when you want to spend time seeing friends or pursuing your own habits. They also maintain their own friendship and interest instead of looking to you to entertain them or fulfill at their social needs. Your partner may not always agree with the way you spend your time. When you do something that worries them, like spending a lot of time with a toxic friend or drinking too much, they might express respectful concern. You have to trust each other. Trust often develops along with love, and you typically won't find one without other. A partner who loves you will likely trust you unless you betray them. So Chuko, if you go back over this, if you watch over this live, listen to this. You trust, you need to trust each other. Trust often develops along with love, and you typically won't find one without the other. A partner who loves you will likely trust you unless you betray them they won't question you when you see friends follow you or go through your phone or computer if they have no reason to believe you have been dishonest they won't accuse you of lying or cheating or insist you go everywhere together Trust also means they feel safe enough to share opinions and emotions, open up about challenges they face and ask for help. This trust might not hold if you mislead, deceive. But you can listen to this part. This trust might not hold if you mislead, deceive, or betray them. Love often remains where trust had shattered so you can sometimes rebuild this trust but not without time transparency and hard work so if you choke when you go back over the life if you watch it over trust and love is two like two partners together so when you're going in a relationship you have to be trustworthy you have to be lower young you have to have respect and you have to learn to communicate. So respect, loyalty, trustworthy, and communication. There are four keys to a relationship. There are four keys to tell you if you're connected with that next half of yours, that you know that you guys are on the right track. Here it says, how you guys make an effort. Attraction might happen in an instant. As I said earlier on, before that some people they see you they are attracted to your future your features your face you have big boobs big buttocks so they are attracted to either body but i don't need person who to be attracted to me by that it's all about my character my personality what's in my heart my inner part not on the outer part so when i find people being attracted to me by my auto appearance. I'm not really too interested in them. Attraction might happen in an instant, but lasting love requires more time and commitment. It might seem romantic when someone immediately decides you're meant to be or say, I think I love you. After just one day, but this sometimes suggests a controlling or manipulative personality, not true romance. With so many people in the world, the idea of one and only instant love can seem pretty flimsy. Sure, souls may could exist, 
but it's important to recognize that love typically doesn't happen in a flash. Someone who truly cares will want to build your love from the ground and shore it up at the sea by prioritizing time together, expressing an interest in getting to know you, being prepared to talk to disagreement or conflict, agreeing by to try new things together, or expressing their commitment to mutual goals as a partner. When you're in a relationship and you talk about collaboration or compromise, conflict doesn't necessarily make a relationship unhealthy, but the way you handle it does make a difference. An attitude of my way or the highway does not suggest a loving relationship. Someone who loves you won't look at you with contempt, insist they are in the right, or refuse to hear you out. In healthy relationship, both partners work together to find solutions uh, for areas that could improve, such as communication or intimacy. You might make a few sacrifices for the sake of your relationship, but you shouldn't be the only one giving ground. So, we go back to this. Some people call it sacrifice. I really don't say sacrifice. I said make adjustment. It's not about you alone, it's about us. If you're in a relationship, you meet me halfway, I meet you halfway. So when we communicate together and we have any issues or problems, we'll talk about them. It's all about how we, we adjust the situation. Maybe neither one of you get everything you hope for, but meeting in the middle, can leave you go content as I said meeting me halfway and I meeting you halfway so it said here again and then when you're in a relationship both person must help each other to get our needs met while no single person can meet all your needs Romantic partners will provide plenty of emotional support. Many people seek romantic relationship for just that reason. A loving partner can't and shouldn't do everything for you. But they'll still cheer your successes and have your back when you stumble. They'll offer assistance when they can and ideas to help with suggestions when they can't. If you're struggling with something they can't help with, such as mental health symptoms, serious financial stress, or a problem at work, they'll encourage you to see the right kind of support. No matter what, you can count on them to offer compassion and a listening ears. So if you're in a relationship, I have your partner and they cannot make no form of suggestion, no form of idea, no way to help you talk through whatever situation or problem that you can come home with a problem from work. They're supposed to be there to support you as a partner. If they really love you, that's what support. We support each other. If you're a husband, if you're a fiance, you never come home from work, have an issue at work, they're supposed to can come home and say, babes, today was a very not Today was not a very good day for me at work. And you discuss it and maybe I can't be in your work but maybe I can suggest something to you and say, why well, you don't try that? Or when you go to work, avoid doing such and such, because you never can tell. Respect goes both ways in relationship, and I'm going to tell you why respect goes both ways. Loving relationship can't strive without respect. A partner who would respect you will show that they follow you and your time together. They also support your choices even when they don't agree. Other signs of respect to look for include honesty. Honesty is the best policy. Your people start a relationship and they start off telling lies. Just be honest. Because what you don't realize, 
You start off a relationship and you tell a lie. You have to use another lie back up that lie. And that is how it starts. One lie to another lie to another lie to another lie. If you're just being honest, sometimes when you tell a lie, and you don't even remember when you tell the person that. And you go back and you say something else. I'm not telling this. If you're females, it's very sketchy on something. Only go out the road as male and do the things them on the door. I have male like that thing about females, quick funny. So when I tell, when I when I meet, cause sometimes man, sometimes you have a man do you remember when he meet the woman. I don't wanna say all that keep him updated. Oh, this is my fourth year anniversary. We meet and such and such a time. Cause sometimes you're there with somebody and ask them, Do you remember when we first met or oh, started? Some of them don't even have a clue. You remember not no oh, but just to be honest with you. Some of them don't even remember how we meet, what was the first date like, how we start talking. It's enough man in a relationship and they don't have a clue about it. Remember nothing. Other signs are clear from communication. Other signs are polite and considerate language, even during arguments. You know, in an argument, they have some man, they tell anything that come out, you have woman too. I can tell about the woman then. Whatever come out of mouth, we just dash it up on the man, because we say we are hurt, then we try to argue, we are arguing. And you know, we boiling up inside, and maybe that person did something, but we need to, we, start, we have to respect each other, know what we are saying to each other as partner. Don't come with no words to bash me, to do, to try bring me down or anything. That's just the same. I, I should not be saying certain things to a man regardless of our argument. We're not supposed, we're not supposed to have to let certain things out of my mouth, but that would be fine. Alright, things where you will see every day is like, Maybe your partner doesn't bring you lunch at work or surprise you with fancy gifts. But they do hand you a cup of coffee every morning once you make it to the kitchen. They never forget your dates <laughs> and they smile whenever you walk into the room. Love is most visible in the small moments of everyday life. Rather than sweeping you off your feet with lavish gestures, Someone who loves you may seem to offer a steady, caring present in your life. They show up for the bad as well as the good, making it clear you can count on their continued support. Alright, so we reach the best. They want the best for you, so each individual is supposed to want the best for each other love doesn't always mean together forever it's often possible to salvage a crumbling relationship when love is still present but in reconcilable differences might mean you're better off moving on to find someone who's a better fit say one of you want children and the other doesn't or perhaps you always plan to settle down near your family and the East Coast while they can't imagine living anywhere but the Pacific Northwest. Someone who truly loves you will let you go once it becomes clear your relationship has run its course. Love is it all or nothing and with time romantic love may transform into lasting friendship even when you can maintain a friendship. It's never wrong to cherish that lingering positive regard. Then we go to the bottom line. A loving partner will share your desire to strengthen your bonds and grow together. Relationship skill doesn't come easily to everyone. Though, and some people need a little extra support with learning how to express feeling in healthy ways. Couples counseling can offer a great space to explore this together. In therapy, you can practice good communication, explore goals for the future, and identify any areas 
of tension so you can address them before they pray down the line. So there you go guys. Loving somebody, and you know that person love you back. That's all it needs. So, guys, this is my wrap up for the night. This is my wrap up for the night, guys. As I can see, I'm going to finish watch my movie. I'm a fan of Morris Sam. I love that song, Morris Sam. So I was watching my African movie. So I'm going to finish watching my African movie. I'm going to pop in my bed now, guys. So it was a pleasure being in here with you guys. Hope you have a blessed night. I hope you have a beautiful weekend coming tomorrow it's back out of work hope you have a productive week i hope you guys just be safe out there because we know what it's all about when we're going to go just take your extra eyes and look around be safe be secure and whatever you're doing guys please i'm asking you put god first when you get up in the morning to go Ask God for guidance, protection. When you come in, even when you're on the road, sometimes you pray. Take even five minutes, second, five minutes to say a word of prayer to God and ask Him for guidance and protection for you, not only you, for your families, your friends, your kids, the even with our own stranger. Because sometimes when I'm praying, I say, the Lord, Right now, I want you to go into the hospital. Touch those sick that are uneasy. Put a smile on their face. Give them a little joy. Give them a little comfort. Because sometimes, there are so many sick out there in this world. And when you get up and you feel like you have no pain or anything, guys, you just have to give God the thanks and give Him the glory. So, guys, it was nice being here with you again. And always remember, God is love. Love is lovely. Share love, give love, you get love. It's all about love. It takes nothing to love. All you need to do, have your respect. You do have loyalty. You be trustworthy. And love is love. Love is lovely. To love is lovely. Isn't it? So you know what to do. You know the what to do. I, I, sometimes I, I hate telling people, hey, if you love what I am doing, if you like my topics when I come on, you know what to do. Follow me on my my Facebook page, Nisha Scott. Go there and hit that subscribe button on my YouTube channel over Nisha World. I know that you're supporting your girl as I am here trying to give you guys some nice topics with a lot of love, peace. So peace out. Love you guys. Bye.